But let me get back to your original question about, uh, what was it, uh, wisdom. You see, I have written this several times and I've said it often. I am interested in radical constructivism because it seems to me it is one way of delimiting the field of rational thought from the inside. You can sort of grope until you come to the boundaries. And there are many boundaries of it that you hit very soon. One of them, for instance, is consciousness. We have no rational model of consciousness, and I don't believe we'll ever get one. But that's a personal belief. I can't prove that. That's uh, an assumption. We have no model of memory at the moment. We may get one, but at the moment it's a boundary. And why am I interested in exploring from the inside the boundaries of rational thought? Because I think what lies outside is very much more important. I think the mystical, the insights of mystics, are far more important than any rational insight. But rationally, you can't talk about them. And what I object to is mystics or metaphysicians who try to convince me rationally that they are right. That is total nonsense, I think. They cannot possibly do that. They can try to show me their beautiful, irreducible metaphors, and maybe I like them. And that's how I have to be convinced very much as Vico said, it is poetic wisdom. And if I like the poetry, I may accede to the wisdom. As a constructivist, you don't have to think that everybody else has to be a constructivist. It, it takes a long time to get into constructivist thinking. It's not something that after one lecture you become a constructivist. It, it's a very difficult process. Because you have to remodel uh, practically everything you've thought before, and some of those remodeling are very disagreeable at first. You see, I think th the inherent difficulty is that in order to interact with other people, you have to concede an intersubjective reality, which is uh, not an ex a reality in which things exist in their own right but a reality in which your ideas become more or less compatible with the ideas of the other person.